Hey guys, so it's been a while. Um, I think it's been three weeks, maybe two weeks. I don't know, when was Mother's Day? I should know this. Anyway, it's been a while. So first I just wanna say that um, this YouTube channel and you guys watching my videos has been an absolute blessing to me. It's really nice to to just get to like unload and talk about what what God's teaching me and what I feel like I, I need to share with people. It's been um, a journey and I just feel like making videos along the way on this journey has been really healing for lack of a better word. Yeah, I just wanna say a quick thank you to um, all my subscribers and we're almost to 140. That's pretty insane because when I first started, I had two, so progress. <laughs> so without further ado, um, I've been not faithfully reading this Devo called A Hundred Days to Brave by Annie Downs. I keep rereading the same chapter over and over again because it's so daggone good. It's really short, but I won't read it all. I really want to read to you this one paragraph though. Okay, so it says, the enemy is so good at lying, isn't he? You know you have an enemy, right? A legit enemy who has no good thoughts for you. Or about you. He's been lying since the Garden of Eden when he convinced Eve that God wasn't really true or trustworthy. And doesn't he whisper the same lies to us? You can't trust God. Your faith is weak. Do you even have faith? When Satan pushes your buttons or makes you doubt God's word or God's love for you, what is your next brave move? Hold up the shield of faith that you hold over your heart meant to protect you from the arrows of the enemy. Fix your eyes on Jesus who is the pioneer and perfecter of your faith. When doubts cloud your mind and faith doesn't come easily, remember that he considered it joy to endure the cross because of his great love for you. Be sure of this, when you ask God to increase your faith, he will. It's just such a good reminder that in this world, we will have trouble. We will have trouble. And it's going to be a battle. And the enemy that we're facing is real. <laughs> He's so real and conniving. And he is a liar. But in knowing all of this, we can't be frightened because our God is so much more powerful. It's like if I played LeBron James in a game of basketball. I mean, it would be a close match. I'm just kidding. <laughs> but it would just be an overkill. You know what I mean? And it's the same with Satan and Jesus. There is no rivalry. There's no competition. There's no, he, Jesus is winning. Oh, now Satan's winning. Oh, Jesus, it's a nail biter. No, it's a literal overkill. But with all that being said, there's still a battle and there's, there's still an enemy. Um, and that's why we're called to wear the armor of God. And I don't know about you guys, but... I um, have read the full armor of God multiple times to where it's become numb to me and I don't actually um, digest what, what it means and um, the reality of, of needing those things, I guess. But let's just review them together. So there is the helmet of salvation to protect our mind with that assurance. And we have the breastplate of righteousness. The breastplate protects our heart protects us from a whole lot of things. Next, we have the belt of truth. What happens when you don't have a belt and your jeans are a little too loose? You're sagging, you're looking like a fool. But with the belt of truth, we will not be made to look like a fool. Next, we have 
I guess shoes as, and having shod your feet with the preparation of the gospel of peace. I don't know what shod means. I just read another version. I just read another version that says, oh shoot, I already forgot. Hold on. No, I got it. It says, oh my gosh, I forget. I just looked it up on my phone and I stopped recording. And now I started recording and I forget. And I don't want to stop recording and go back. It says, um, the readiness that comes from the, the peace of the gospel. Ugh, I'm gonna reread it because I don't want to butcher it. Feet fitted with the readiness that comes from the gospel of peace. Okay, got it. But basically our feet should just always be ready for whatever God's gonna call us to do. Then we have the shield of faith. And I really love this one because it specifically tells us why. Why do we have it? You will be able to quench all the fiery darts of the wicked one. I love that. I love that. I love that. Actually, I love that so much. That is powerful. You just meditate on that for a little bit. And take the sword of the spirit, which is the word of God. And I'm sure you've heard this before, but the sword is the only offense which is pretty dope. I just wanted to share that deviant with you guys because I just love the reminder of there being a battle and it's real and we're gonna struggle. But we also know that, that the battle has already been won. The war has been won, let's say. And in the meantime, things are gonna be rough and that's where we have to hold hands with fellow believers. Let's be that friend that is always shooting encouraging words at people. But that's all from me. You guys have a good weekend or week, depending on when I post this. Bye!